Let's start this vlog. Welcome to a new vlog. We are leaving for Belfast in 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna go upstairs and wake up my dad and Isaac's here. They've been here since like eight. We have just been chilling. Honestly, Isaac slept for like two hours. I showered. I've been working on my sign for the show. I'm gonna ask him if I can sing Seeing Blind with him. If y'all don't understand like what him means, it's Niall Horan. <laughs> I'm going to Belfast with my best friend and we're gonna see Niall Horan first time ever traveling alone. I just need to get all my stuff together. I've packed and I just need to close my suitcase and put everything where it needs to be and then we're leaving. For you so. in Paris. The lights were too bright. The streets that promised me romance. You were nowhere in sight. You looked for me in New York. See through the smoke. You've been walking for miles, miles. So you smile it, we can be silent, tell me just what you want. Find it, my thoughts, we can talk to you. And the dark, find it, reasons, stay where we are. Even it feels the same when you're with me. Close my without any hope. Slay it on. <laughs> we have arrived. We have arrived. <laughs> We are currently literally at Gardemund, also airport, and I'm absolutely freaking the freak out. And I'm super scared, but I'm also really excited. Everyone else is tired, but me, I'm just like overhyped and over scared and over everything. Got this feeling for the first Let's recreate. We're here! My, my favorite place in the whole entire world, and I'm dying. British Airways fucked up Isaac's last name. <laughs> we have to go through the baggage thing manually, but that's fine. Dad just left, shaking my pants, literally. So stressed. I'm screaming inside. Really positive because we just got Isaac's boarding pass. Baggage went through and everything, so it's absolutely fantastic. I'm not stressed anymore. I'm so excited. And now we're gonna go through security and it's gonna be amazing. Liquid, y'all. Security next. A traveling fangirl, a vlog. Okay, where are we now? Do you want to tell Tax us free. where we are? Tax free. Tax free. <laughs> the only thing I'm getting is Maltesers. I need it as my plain snack because it is my plain snack. I also need some gum. I don't think I'm going to buy the big packages because I don't need those. Where are the Maltesers? I think they're over here. Here they are. Gonna buy this one. Where are we gonna buy the box? No, this has more in it, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never the bag on it. Childhood memories. We're gonna find our gate and then I'm gonna eat something. I don't think Isaac's gonna eat something. I don't know. Are you gonna eat something? I feel like I should wait too. We're in London. Yeah, London. I've never been to London and if you don't know this about me, London has been my dream place to go since I was like really young. Literally made all my school assignments about what's your dream place. It's been London. I remember sixth grade and I literally made a whole ass book about why I wanted to go to London. So next week I'm actually going to London and I'm staying there for four days to see Niall again because a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Why is it so far? I need some food. Anyways, I'm so proud of us for literally boarding, or not boarding yet, but like getting through security and everything with the luggage so successfully. The passport check was literally so quick. We successfully found our gate. Are you excited? Nice. <laughs> I need to not use my camera that much because of the fact that it needs to be charged but we're sitting at the gate just waiting on the floor. I'm gonna eat my Maltesers. We didn't get to go buy like real breakfast so this is my breakfast and then we're gonna buy something when we get to London I think. That's what's happening. Not much. This is what the outside look lo looks like. Oh, yeah. Bye. This 
plane is so small, but that's fine. We're gonna take up soon. I'm gonna eat my Maltesers and I'll see you when we're in London, honestly. We're in London, baby. In London. How are we feeling about being in London? That's how we're feeling. We are going through security right now. And then we're gonna get something to eat. We're gonna go to the toilet because I am pissing myself. I actually slept for like an hour, which was surprising. And then I have to charge my laptop, my camera, and a couple of other things. It's under two hours to both of us, so that's nice, at least. But I need to get some editing done. I did some editing, but not much, so. Just got through security. They had to check my bags, as you saw, because I forgot to take my liquids out. The bookshop. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. <gasps> oh my god. Can it go down? Oh my god. I will listen to them one day. You guys, you guys, can you see where I am? Oh my god. I'm kind of dying. There's Lando. There is Lando. Literally, what the actual. I did not know they were gonna have this here. Ah! Oh my god, I am dying. I love this cardigan. Like, I love this cardigan. I want it so bad. And also, why is this so cool? This is dope. I want this. I want everything. I also love this. If I had the money, girl, I would buy everything here. This is the coolest one. I am obsessed with this one. I saw Lizzie and I was like, oh my god. Literally Lando on a poster. I need to take pictures. We went and bought some food. I bought a yogurt, strawberry yogurt. So I'm hoping this is good. And then I bought this bread with cheese. And then I bought this C4 explosive energy drink that I think is going to make my anxiety burst. Lime and lemon. So I think that's gonna be good. So, taste test. Wow. I like this. This is something I would eat at home. Mm. Before the camera dies, I'm gonna taste this, the other things. Yogurt. 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 This tastes like a really, really sweet version of Norwegian yogurt. The last thing, this is gonna give me anxiety. It's mid, it's not that good, but I have to go. I have to charge the camera. Bye, I love y'all. We have gotten to our gate now. It's like 12.10 or something. I bought a water bottle. We're just waiting to board the plane, honestly. And then we're going to Belfast, and then we're going to our Airbnb, and then we're buying some food, and I edited a bit while the camera was charging, and I did not end up drinking my whole energy drink because it wasn't good. We have seen videos of people already camping. We're praying that they're just camping for today, like for Belfast night one. If they're camping for Belfast night two, what? They have early entry, it's insane. We're obviously not camping. I think we're going there a bit earlier, although we don't need to, but we'll figure that out. Just super tired, just in the mood to get to Belfast, get to our Airbnb, sleep on the plane probably. See you later. Hola. We just boarded the flight to Belfast. I haven't slept in like, I don't know, I've taken two naps within 30 hours, I think. It's been a long travel day and I'm so ready to get to the Airbnb and just sleep and eat some normal food. I don't think you guys understand how happy I am right now. We have arrived in Belfast. It's so warm compared to Norway. Norway is like minus 10 degrees Celsius and here it's like plus 12 and I love it. It was a very short flight. Yeah. We were shocked. We were like, oh, this is gonna take like right under two hours, like one and a half hour. Felt like literally 15 minutes. It's cool to be here. It's cool to have arrived. I'm happy. And we're gonna pray, cross our fingers that our baggage is here. And if it's not, I'm gonna cry. We didn't lose any of our bags. I was so scared that we were going to, but we didn't. The weather is absolutely amazing. We are taking the bus right now to something, a place called Oxford Street and then from Oxford Street we're taking another bus to the bus stop nearest our Airbnb, I believe. We are in need of a story time, y'all. 
what happened right now? We're in our room. It's the smallest, tiniest room I've ever seen in the whole entire world. It's an Airbnb. We share a kitchen and bathroom with other people. I'm actually scared. We thought this was really good for the price, but it's not really good. The bus drove from us. The traffic here is insane. We were gonna take another bus and they were so kind and they let us off on a street and turns out that street was like 10 minutes of a walk from here. And also we thought we were walking behind Niall Horan <laughs> for like five minutes straight and I was freaking out. Isaac was like, wait up. But it kind of like, it actually looked like him for a second. And also he started looking back and basically running from us. So we were like, okay, he saw Isaac's hoodie. <laughs> um, but it wasn't Niall Horan, which is fantastic because if Niall Horan would have ran from me, I would have cried myself to sleep for the rest of my life. So we get to the house after walking for hours upon hours, not hours, but you know, <laughs> felt like hours, sweating through all of our clothes. We get here, the code isn't working, we're freaking out. We find his number to the guy who's like renting us the place. The number is correct and he answers, but the phone is so like blurry. Then we were like, oh my god. He texted us the actual code because he had put the wrong code. And the thing was, there are people living here right now with us. We were banging on the door, like, let us in. Nobody <laughs> came, and they heard us, which is insane. We finally got in. We get up to our room. First of all, it's so small. We would have never expected this. It's nothing like the pictures. We don't even have room to, like, literally put our clothes on the ground. Right now, I just want to get dressed, switch out of these clothes, put on some perfume, maybe, like, brush my teeth, look at the house maybe just to know where everything is and we're also going to get some food because i'm absolutely starving i think maybe nando's i don't know <laughs> let's check out the tv we've decided to take a little walk and walk to the arena the nile's playing at tomorrow it got a little windy so we close our jackets. I don't know how to feel about our living situation, but honestly, we're gonna sleep there, brush our teeth there, and that's it. <laughs> we're also gonna find something to eat, and we're gonna look at the merch stands, and I'm super excited to see the merch stand. I think the merch is so cool. So it's like a 25 minute walk. I feel like I'm in a Netflix series. Currently at Subway. I'm so excited to see Niall again. Crossing our fingers for it to get better and just sleep this day off. Hey all, we woke up like half an hour ago. We knocked out at like eight yesterday. We were so tired. <laughs> from traveling the whole day and also we walked around the city for so long i am currently doing my skincare in the mirror here it's five se five seconds five minute to eight i think we're gonna aim at being there at before 10 we'll see because my hair takes an hour we're aiming for that also i don't have hair Dancing i don't have hair best deodorant get it i did in fact buy this merch yesterday looks like this it has like the show and then and I'll, and then it says something down here it says the show live on tour 2024 world tour performed on four continents by niall horan and his band you can expect to hear smash hits such as heaven meltdown slow hands and so many more so buckle up lovers and welcome to the show <laughs> oh my god i'm dying and then it has the tour dates on the back love this it's like a hey i'm taylor but you already knew that wake the fuck up and go on with your day being that was my alarm clock tampa mascara this is my sign that i made can i sing sing These are gonna fall out, but it's fine. Outfit is absolutely slitting. This is the back, it's backless. And then these are the pants, and I'm gonna show you the jacket as well. It's so messy in here right now. Literally, this is not good. 
This looks like a messy beauty room or something. <laughs> this is the back of the jacket. I am absolutely in love. I feel like a princess. Okay, you guys, we are on our way towards the city center. Isaac is taking some pictures with their digital camera. We went to the concert yesterday. Do you want to give some information or a reaction to the show? Incredible, amazing. Throwing up, crying, screaming. Heart stopping. Heart show stopping. stopping. Yeah. Yeah, so that's our reaction. It was insane. Like I saw him at Stavarn, the festival. I didn't think it could get better. It got better. It got amazing. It was insane. It was crazy. Isaac was bawling. So we got to the venue at a quarter to ten. We woke up at seven. We got some numbers on like a wristband. We got these wristbands, the blue one, with like a number for our queue. Which, I don't know how we felt about that, but sat down, Isaac went to get some food, we ate a little bit, we met some people. We're literally just walking down the street right now and it's so loud, I'm so sorry. You know the fans that made the queuing system, they said that we could leave at 10.30 and do whatever we want until 1 and we had to get back at 1. So I'm gonna put some Snapchat stories and stuff to show you guys what we did. They did like a checkup of who was there and that everyone was there and counted us and stuff and then we went to first we sat at like this pizza place and just played some cards and stuff and ate a little bit and then we went to Nando's ate a bit more it was so freaking good I think we're gonna eat at Nando's today as well so that's where we're walking now after Nando's we went back to the queue they lined us up we sat and waited for like two three hours or something we started walking in in like lines of two they checked our tickets and our bag then we were sat in a queue for like half an hour inside and then we got inside we got the best freaking spot ever on bar barricade I'm gonna put a picture here do you see this this was insane anyways and then we waited for like hour, half an hour for Tommy Lefroy to get on. I've heard a lot of their music before and they were freaking amazing. I love them. I fell in love with both of them. Half an hour after they got on, Niall got on. Everybody was screaming, screaming our hearts out to everything. All of the songs. And also he played a lot of freaking good songs. He played Mirrors, he played Everywhere, which Isaac was over the moon about. right in Isaac's face. Which was amazing, he ignored my poster. I'm gonna show you a video and you can see what happened. Look at this. Unbelievable things. Thank you so much. Very lovely, lovely signs. That was what happened. You can see that he kind of like looks at it, ignores it. But like, I don't blame him. Of course, he couldn't put that in his set list. I just hadn't thought about the fact that he has a really packed set list and he has to like follow that. But he did interact with us a lot. We got on his Instagram, stuff like that. And I'm so freaking excited for London. You don't even understand how excited I am. This is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing this white t-shirt from Big Book. I have my Nile necklace on as always. I just put my hair in this, like a braid and a slick back. Glasses, earrings, i6 jacket, my sweet ski pants and Isaac's shoes. <laughs> the concert ended. We had a lot of interactions. I'm gonna put videos of all the interactions, all the songs, everything.
Just like the one we heard Sings a song that sounds like she's singing Ooh, ooh, say ooh have the support of, as we all know, the most loyal fans on the planet is... Uh... I, feel like, I feel like every artist says that, but we all know. Sorry. I wasn't expecting anything less anyway, but you have lived up to everything I thought it would be. Thank you so much. When you're a kid, you dream of stuff, and it, you know, you never think that anything will happen, and look at the size of that thing. <laughs> look at all of these people. So I hope you had a fantastic night tonight, because I had something We did! We did! And as I said to her earlier, if you didn't enjoy it, don't fucking tell anyone. <laughs> Keep it stunk. I love you very, 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 very much. Are you ready for one more two? The concert was finished, we waited for a little bit, Isaac took some pictures of my outfit, we got outside, we waited for like an hour in the pouring freaking rain, the pouring rain. I'm at Emily. <sighs> Cute video. Emily, I, I saw you at Stubborn Festival and I loved you. You're amazing. I was right in front of you. Hey. Oh, he's been gone. Like, what's that? Can we Thank take you. a selfie? That's okay. That's okay. You were literally Have right in front night. of me in the like denim ish thing and you were amazing. Oh my god. Bye. She was the nicest human being I've ever met, so sweet. We waited for a little bit longer, 10 minutes or so, and he drove out in like a silver van. We were like five people or something waiting, and he didn't like say hi to us or anything, but 
Of course, that's all good. I understand he can't do that. Then we got home. We obsessed over our concert until 2 a.m. and then we fall, fell asleep. And we woke up at 9, obsessed over our concert until half past 12. I got dressed. Isaac was impatient with me because I was slow. And now we're here. I think I've gotten all the footage in by now. Editing me, please tell me you got all the footage in from the concert. We are going shopping, so be excited because we're going to Nando's. We're going to Waterstones and the works. Primark, Tesco. We're going to Build-A-Bear. We're going to lots of different places and I'm so freaking excited. And I cannot wait for London. Be excited for the London vlog. But honestly, I've been yapping for a long time now. So I am gonna meet you when we're at the place we're going to. I think we're there really soon. I think it's over there actually. Let's meet on the shopping F1 merch, literally. Like, I really want this Lando t-shirt, but I don't know, I don't know. They also have this Lando t-shirt in white, which I also like, but I like the one with him on it. They also have some Williams Racing stuff, but nothing with Alex on it, or Logan, so I think I'm gonna stay with this McLaren stuff first, and just try it, and we'll see. Oh my god, the rose bombs! They were mega cute. This is so good. Cute, 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 cute. You suck. My weekend is all booked. The mommy, I got cute. Oh. Den var så. Den brast in med hett och sånt. Den var mega gasset. Primark and I went crazy and I'm gonna give you a haul when I get home Okay, we are currently eating I bought these this case for my airpods uh, You can't really see it, but it's a bunch of stitch from Lilo and stitch on it And then I bought this Victoria's Secret dupe for my sister I also bought this other Victoria's Secret dupe pajama set for my sister this Spider-Man cup for Celia. This little plant for my mom, which I thought was so cute. For my dad, with like Hot Wheels on it. I bought this set for like Gateless Curls because it was literally three pounds. That was everything I bought, but then we were also at another store or some other stores at Poundland. I bought a drink, I bought water, and I bought squashies because I need to taste squashies from here because they look so much better. I bought the two last ones in the Chestnut Spring series. We're leaving the Airbnb, going to the airport, buy a Belfast for now. You were something. On our way home. It's gonna be good to come home, but it's also gonna be sad to leave. Good memories. We were lasting our asses off yesterday because in every concert video you can hear Isaac screaming and it's so funny. The bus is there. There's the bus. We have to go. You 